This is one of Bert's trickier pieces and it's still pretty much a work in progress for me. But you're welcome to join me here on my, on my journey through it in putting it together. There's one thing that uh, I will say that I've discovered in, in working it out for myself, which is that normally with these complicated tunes, uh, we tend to think that we, we need to master the guitar part first and then, and then get the vocal together over the top, which of course makes it seem even more complicated in a, in a case like this. But actually what I've found in, in learning it myself is that the vocal actually helps. If you can sing it while you're playing it, then you begin to understand how, how Bert put it together. So from Dave Goulder's melody, which he would have learned by ear, learn to play the melody on the guitar and sing it, of course, and then add harmonies, add harmonies, bass lines, implications of chords. So uh, actually singing the phrases while you're playing seems to help. It makes it all, makes it all tie together. So now I'm not much of a singer myself, but I will be trying to show you how that works. So I'll go through uh, phrase by phrase, two or three bars at a time, uh, as the vocal phrases go, as the vocal melodies go. So intro first. This is a nice little, nice little pattern. It sits under the fingers nicely. And it's a variant of one of Bert's most popular A minor to D changes. In this case, he's starting here, open A, C on the uh, third string fifth fret and uh, a B is a ninth on the top here. Then the little finger slides down the first string to the fifth fret and that's not a that's not a smooth slide that's a it's a timed slide. Okay so then we're down to here which is a, a shape of a D triad, a F sharp D and A. Okay, and then we're picking these two, these two notes here, the F sharp and the A, and the D in between. Now, as you come down, as the little finger hits the A, you pick the G in between, or you can pull off actually. Let me just show the difference in sound there. So I'm going to pick the string first. We're coming back to here, I'll talk about this in a minute. Here it is with the pull off. So it's a slightly smoother sound, because it can get a little bit too dominant, I think, that G if you pick it. It's a little bit too strong, I think. Okay, but that's obviously your choice there. It's just a passing note down to the F sharp in the bass. With the chord here, this A minor triad, I've got into the habit of playing it with the three fingers together here, because that helps me keep the A melody notes on the top string there. It's a little bit tricky to get back to the, the repeat of the pattern, but the alternative is just to play that with a, an index bar there. You, you then get a break in that little top melody note. Not a big deal. And of course, then you're in position to get back to the repeat of the pattern there. Okay, so the intro goes around those two bars a couple of times. And the vocal starts with another repeat of that phrase. The vocal melody he's singing is this. January man. And that melody is not um, that melody is not in the guitar part. So he's singing this. So it's from here. Oh the January man, dropping to a plain A minor chord here. Now he walks the road in woolen coat, descends a scale. Right from this A here, man, he walks the road in wool and coat. That ends up on a G down here. So if you are going to sing this, you need to make sure you can get that bottom note, that G. Otherwise, of course, you can move a capo on here. Okay, to find find a key where that low note is not too bad for you. Okay, so we're down to the A minor. Let me just try it once more time. 
Oh, the January man, he walks. Now, he walks. There's a quick slide up here. We've notated it as a 2-4 bar leading into a 3-4. So the 2-4. This little slide up here to the, uh, the B and the D here on the third and second strings on the last half beat of the bar. One and two and. And that's where he sings the he on a G here. So he's singing this note. Man, he walks. Now, when he sings walks, he's beginning to play the melody on the guitar. Now we come to the trickiest bar, I think, in the whole tune. Um, and it's quite hard to hear exactly how he's playing this. Uh, it seems to vary a little bit each time. There's a harp mixed in with the guitar on the original recording, which is quite hard to separate. So it seems to be this. He starts with the F note that he's singing, and that's a very short note on the guitar. Comes off almost straight away. There's an E on the first string, so instead of playing this, he's playing. Then there's the open D. So walks the road. Walk, walk, walks the road. Now on road, it's a full arpeggiated D minor seven chord. Okay. Little finger adds a G on top. Then we get some a couple of tenths coming down to the G here. Let me play the whole this whole walks the road in woolen coat. This whole bar on the guitar as I think it's done most of the time. G here. Let's do that once more. Now the fingering here by the way we're coming from the previous bar so when we're here index finger on that third fret there. F here open first D minor 7 high G and then these tenths fingers 2 and 3 D, down to A and C, then we're into the plain G of the next bar, bar 8, bar 8 in the book. Is. So the fact this first F is short is kind of what implies how he's fingering the rest of it. So it comes right off there to get to that. And also the fingering here it's quite tempting, I find, and I've had to get out of this, this habit myself. Either going for index and third, which means I then had to switch my index back to here. Not very efficient. And the other thing I've been doing is this. Moving a little finger across, so using my middle finger here, moving the little finger across. So the trouble with that is then the, the G is cut short and you can hear that the G sustains on the original. So it has to be slightly awkward finger position here, left hand position to get the, those two fingers in place. So it takes a few kind of run throughs I think of that left hand shape there. Three beats this is. One, one and two and three and. Okay, once more. Right, that's walks the road in woolen, walks the road in woolen basically. Walks the road in woolen coat. Or coat on the bottom G here. Now coat and boots of leather Coat and boots of leather. That's the vocal melody. So he's departing again the melody a little bit. He's, he's coming in on the octave above here. Yeah, so he's putting the melody, hinting at it in the top part of the guitar patterns here. So there's a syncopation in this bar in the guitar part which goes along with the syncopation in the vocal. 
coat, coat and boots of leather. So the guitar again, G bass, third finger, open D and G. And then we're sliding up here, up to uh, G and B on the middle strings. And then little finger on the C, index on the F down here. Open B, slide up, uh, slide up fourth string from the G to A, and then open A and this th index finger bar again here. So let's try and go through so far actually up to this A here, up to the downbeat of bar nine. I'll do just the guitar part from bar five where the vocal starts. All right, now between the lines here, after, after leather, in the book we've written it as this, with a little, with the first string here as well, going up to 7th fret. You don't always hear that in the original, it may be that it's just the harp. All you really need is this third string note. With the open B and, uh, B and G at the end of that. One and two and three and. The next bar, back to your A minor shape here. Now this typical little Burt embellishment on the last beat of the bar. Hammer on, pull off on the fourth string. Okay. And that's leading you into, uh, into February, into the next bar. The next phrase. index finger coming in on the on the second fret there. Now bar 11, here's the, here the melody is the February, February man still shakes the snow. We're going to stop before snow. Just, just, just look at this bar on its own. Here's the tune remember. So it's being accompanied by an E minor chord. Here the melody is coming on the top strings here. So it's February man, he's playing this. Man, man still shakes the, so the notes of man still shakes the, come in the top part of the guitar pattern. Let me lead into it from the previous bar. So that's a nice little phrase, that one. E minor played like this. Index here, second on the E on the fourth string. A B. Now I'm playing it on the fourth fret of the third string because that gets my hand in a nice shape for the next chord. You can, of course, you've got the open B as well, if you want that, and the uh, G on top. One, a uh, uh, four, four bar, this one. One and two. Now on two and, you move up to an F chord, played all, all three strings together, F, C and A, and immediately you pull off the, pull off the first string, a D on the second string, and then uh, the G and C on the third fret here. So all together that is again there's an optional slide into that.
Now we're into the uh, passage of tenths here. Snow from off his hair and blows his hands. So he's singing this, uh, this line. Okay. Snow from off his hair and blows his hands. We've come down, remember, from Man still shakes the snow from off his hair and blows his hands. So from snow, we're playing tenths. Now the melody, he's put it on the, uh, on the octave above. A harmonising tenths below with the bass line. And all together like this. Into a plain A minor again. Snow, snow from off his hair and blows his hands. So that's a little bit tricky. It took me a while to get that together and I'm still not sure I've completely got it at speed. Oops, there we go. There's an alternative way of doing that if you want. We can go all the way up these two strings. If you find that easy, obviously it sounds a little bit different with the sliding sounds, if you don't mind that. So we're going up to play it that way. So it's from the F and the A up to the G and B, two frets. Then the same fret, fifth fret to seventh fret. Back down, back up, and then dropping to the A minor. So it's worth trying that. It's obviously easier for the right hand rather than all this, and in fact for the left hand too, rather than all this kind of swapping around here. In the book it's tabbed this way, which is probably the more classically correct way, and I think the way he, he played it himself. So we're ending up on the A minor here. Let me go through that last phrase, that whole last line. The February man this is. So we're starting from... 10. The February man still shakes the snow from off his hair and blows his hands. Okay, now another 3 4 bar before March. Right, nice and easy. Now, the man of March, the vocal goes higher here. Oh, the man of March, he sees the spring. And again, the vocal here is not closely represented in the guitar, so it's a little bit harder to coordinate the two. Four beat bar here. One and two and three and four and one. The guitar here, a couple more tenths. So it's A and C, B and D, C and E, open B, syncopated little partial D minor 7 here. Here he's, that, that A note is the one he's singing on C's, so it might be a good one to kind of to get in there. The rest of the chord is a little bit optional, I think. And then we've got... end of the bar. So four beats here. One and two and three and four and. Now on the and this little kind of passage here. B, B and E. A little bit like the, the part in on the, uh, the boots of leather line. So for the next bar here, on, on the word spring, we're back to this A minor shape. Okay, let me see if I can sing that, sing that with it. Mm, there. Oh, the man of March, he sees the spring. 
now and wonders what the year will bring. Another little descending melody here. Uh, in fact, it goes up and down. So the, the vocal is this. Wonders what the year will bring. C, D, E, D, C, B, G. So it's three, four bar leading into a two. Five beats all together, though. In fact, I'm going to uh, talk about this five starting with spring, because it seems to work nicely as a phrase beginning on the word spring. So the spring is here. <laughs> spring is this uh, E note. Man of March, he sees the spring. And... So it's one and two and three and four. We split it 2-4 in the book, like this. 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 1. Because that gives you the sense of, I think, of a 3-beat descending pattern. OK, 1 and... I'll talk about the details of this in a second. 1, 1 and 2 and 3 and 1. So... From the 2-4 bar after spring. Okay, up to that D there. And now, just two notes to start with, C and A. Then the open uh, G and E. These are sixths this time, descending sixths. G, E, uh, F, F, D. C, uh, E, C. On the C, there's a one of his uh, twiddles. He doesn't drop to D on the bass here. You could do, but he just holds the E, and you get a little twiddle on the C there, and then back down to the G here. There's something you can do here, which, which can help to uh, express the vocal. As I say, the vocal is um, these notes. He's playing some of it up here on the top. But here, the guitar, you can hear the guitar doing this. So from, mm, that's the note he's singing. Mm, one. But when it goes up, wonders what, wonders what. It's coming down to an A here, before the what the year will. Okay, there's a tune on top there. But it's very easy to add the D of the melody here if you want. Putting two notes together here. Mm, so see, here's the tune. One wonders, wonders what the year will bring. It's a G. Now, spring and hopes for better weather. This is another five beat phrase. Again, starting with the last word of the previous phrase from bring. Bring the tune here. Hopes for better weather. And he's putting that partly the octave up. Yeah, on the second string there. So we've got a G arpeggio again. Now this is a little bit similar to what happens in bar eight. Okay. So you could do it the same way as bar eight, or you can play bar eight the same as this. Yeah. Cold and boots of leather. That would work well enough, I think, for bar eight. But we've tabbed, obviously we've tabbed it um, in two different ways. I think he does play it in two different ways. So bring and hopes for better weather. Hammer on to the C. So we've got a G7 sus4 here. Pull off the C to the B. Then an F bass for the, the 
this little embellishment. So it's four beats on the G and then one on the F. One and two and three and four and five into our A minor again. Sorry, it'll be this A minor. Let me come to that in a second. So from bring, bring and hopes for better weather. The F, by the way, you could use your thumb there if you find that easier. to this A minor here and then we're into really the, the short little interlude between the verses that phrase again All right. hammer on 7th fret open B and G open A minor here then the intro phrase and down to this A minor and then that repeats, the whole sequence repeats then, for, you know, through April rain. So let me see if I can play through the whole thing. Now this is going to be a challenge for me, to see if I can do it without any breaks. I suspect I can't, but, <laughs> but let's see. Uh, I won't sing it, I'll just play the instrumental, uh, the instrumental accompaniment, the arrangement. And I'll try and take it a little bit slow, and let's see if I can do it without any, without any edits. Okay, there we go, something like that. <laughs> 